Hello, welcome to the channel. This is the Baron. Super excited. Today I just got in my Bloomborough Commander deck of Squirreled Away. This is the one deck I wanted. I always wanted to make a squirrel deck and I never did and they made one for me. So let's get into this maybe. So this is something I'll definitely be doing an upgrade on. Let's get in here and get to all the Oh goodness, I have no idea what's actually in here. I haven't looked at any of the openings. And then we get a sample pack. Yeah, Fletcher sample pack. That is our little exact box. Tons of packaging. And then we get a that thing here we'll get out of. I did not know that they put them in foil. That is really cool. But you get a foil commander in the full art. That's probably a little bit different than what they've done in the past. Normally you get that etched card and then they gave you another foil, which I guess this is the backup commander. And even a full art foil group there. So that is very interesting that they went that route instead of doing the normal thing. So we got the witch, which is, uh, that's a reprint that I already had. We got a bat warlock, squirrel. Yeah, why well you got rats in here? What does the rat do? Yeah, the rat does crazy stuff. So the rat might be out, the bat might be out. We're probably going to synergize this more with squirrels because that makes a rat creature. This is probably a token deck in general. Um, oh yeah, this thing here, wow, this thing has gone like way up. I was just looking at it and going, oh, I wish I had bought one. These things are like 12 to $15 by themselves, which just makes this even more of a value of just getting your commander deck already with some of those great squirrel cards i think that one's a reprint too um and of course chatterfang he used to be the commander and i guess you could still use him you can go either way with that casualties of war of course the academy manufacturers so that every time you make one kind of token you make three others instead too and then it looks like we got in some good lands Put a 1-1 counter on each green creature that entered the battlefield this turn. See, that's great. No matter what tokens you make or anything, then you just give everybody a plus one. Regenerate. Oh, yeah, Swarm Yard. I'd finally bought one of these for my rat deck. And I just waited and waited, and I finally bought it. And then I'm like, oh, man, I guess I should have bought two. And then I found out it was going to be in the squirrel deck, and I'm like, ooh got past me on that one that's awesome so now I got one for each deck I don't mind having the other art on the one that I picked up and uh, yeah we got a lot of good lands we got birds since I haven't made a squirrel deck and this guy is supposed to be really good too somebody was talking about him I mean yeah and the sword of the squeak I'm really excited for this. Now, this is something I did buy two full art versions of. I knew it came in here, but I think they're down right now to like a dollar. So I'm just like, I love the full art version of this. And I'm like, I'm going to need one for my rat deck. I'm going to need one for my squirrel deck. And you never know when you might have, a, you know, some idea of like, oh, let's go ahead and do a mouse or a hamster. And just having an extra one around is not, not going to hurt you. Not when you're spending a dollar. I can I can do that. So, lots of fun stuff in here for sure. Squirrels. I just don't know about spiders. Spiders are. Eh. We got some sagas. Yeah, I'm really interested to see how this plays out of the box. I may try that, but I'm definitely uh, probably looking at synergizing it more with squirrels. Like one of the things I didn't see in there. Oh, Skull Camp. All right, Th this thing is like always 4 or $5. So, I mean, that's just added value. 
is like there is something else you don't have to go track down for your new deck and then we're going to go into tons of lands and we have squirrel tokens we have an adrazi token a pest token a spider token a human token and rat tokens which you know i like the rat tokens and then we haven't got a goat token so i gotta go see what makes all those tokens and see if we can't get this thing a little bit just more on the squirrel side but i am very impressed with this i love the full art foil uh, i noticed they did not put an etched thick card in here because i've been trying to figure out if you're not allowed to have you know, non-playable cards as your commander, why do they keep making those, like, super thick cards that technically couldn't go back in your deck without being marked? Since there's supposed to be, like, a couple things that can put it back in your deck. Why do they make those? They don't let us play the big cards anymore. And they don't do anything else. I mean, I would love to be able to play a graded card, personally. I don't know if you guys would like that or not, but I have some serialized cards that I would like to be the commander be able to get those slabbed and use those as the commander because I could always just take a regular version of the card, stick it under there, and then if anything, put it in my deck. I could put it in the deck and flip the serialized card over. But, you know, and I'm not really trying to show off. I know you hear the word serialized card. Believe me, there are a lot of like $40, $50 serialized cards that will make good commanders, but they were like uncommon serialized cards, so they're not worth a ton of money but they would still be fun to play. Just like I've already seen the, uh, uh, what they call raised foils for this set. Some of those are down to like $40. Those things look amazing. And I would definitely want one of those as a commander as well. I'm not sure if they made this particular squirrel in that because I haven't seen it, but I do know that they have the rat rogue that I would like to get. And I do know they did the chatter fang so uh they have some real fun stuff but those are a little bit more expensive so if you enjoy this video please like subscribe and all that fun youtube stuff and i will see you next time